seem to be making the most of a sponsor's invite. How does it feel to be in this position after two rounds? Uh, pretty great. I haven't had time to let it set in, and hopefully I don't think too much about it because obviously what I've been doing has been, has been working the first couple of days. But, yeah, um, again, just thankful that I'm here and trying to make the most of our opportunity. No expectations at all, honestly. Who's having more fun, you or your parents? Oh, for sure my family, yeah. They're, they're such a great bunch. I mean, they're so positive, and the fact that they drove out here just to support me and walk six hours and probably dehydrated out there and feet hurting and still cheering me on, it's, it's really cool to know that they're there. Congratulations on an awesome two rounds. Um, you must be hearing your name shouted a lot. Yeah. Um, throughout these two rounds. Are they pronouncing it correctly? Do you want to just clear um, up the pronunciation so like, of your name? Yeah, it's funny. Like, I know who I know because they'll pronounce my name, like, really crisply and right. So the pronunciation is Sahith Tigala, and a lot of them are saying Sahith, which uh, which I kind of went by when I was younger. But that, that seems to be – it's just easier to yell Sahith out here. So I think that's what a lot of people are doing. But it's Sahith. Sounds good. And one more thing. Um, I read that you have scoliosis. How do you um, cope with that in your golf game? And do you adjust for it in any way in your swing? Yeah. Um, luckily, it's it's in a direction where it's not really affecting my swing. Maybe if it was the other way, it would. But um, that's where my trainer, Josh, and my Cairo back home play a big part. And, and I've been really – I think I've been way better about being on top of that so it doesn't get worse. And it, it's given me no problems at all for – for a really long time now, which is great. So hopefully just got to keep, keep being on that. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, it's a pretty different uh, crowd out here. Do you come into this tournament uh, never having played it, yeah. uh, thinking, okay, I have to adjust the, what my expectations are for yeah. what I might hear and how loud it's going to be and yeah. just kind of imagine myself at the free throw line of, a, of an NBA game? Or? Yeah, I think knowing that this is kind of a one-off deal, like this event is so great, and I think it's great for the game and great for golf, but knowing that it's so different, having that mindset and knowing that the expectations of the people are going to be you know, what they are out here, which has been awesome. But, um, yeah, I've just kind of embraced it and, not really let it affect me in an expectation standpoint, not really letting it affect me out there. Me and Carl McCaddy still going through the process as we normally would, but um, yeah, we'll see how, how it is this weekend. And then real quick, can you just go down who is here? I know, I think you, yeah. your cousin's here. Your cousin's going to like every event. Yeah. And your dad's here. He's going to a lot of them. Right? Yeah, the, I mean, the, the reason is I'm from LA and they are too. So like, it's been yeah. pretty easy to get to all these West Coast events. So they've been here the last four weeks, pretty much. Um, it's my parents, uh, a couple of my uncles, or three of my uncles this week. Um, and then my cousin's parents. I think there's eight of them, I think. And there, was a, there was another cousin that came yesterday. And your yeah, caddy's family, right? Yeah, and my yeah. caddy's <laughs> girlfriend's family, yes. Yes. They're great too. Hey, uh, after the way your day started, how were you able to kind of turn the page and, and get in a positive frame of mind and go out and do what you did? Yeah, um, I wasn't too, you know, upset about the way it started. Like, I, I had a 15-footer to start the day, so I was like, okay, I just put a good roll on it and see what happens. I put a good roll, just missed, and then the next tee shot, I put it in under the lip of the fairway bunker, and I was like, okay, I can't do much about that, right? And I knew if I keep putting the ball in the fairway, I'm going to have scoring opportunities. So it, it was nice to reset for the 30 or 40 minutes that I had in between the rounds there. And then who were some of the guys you grew up watching kind of just as a kid coming up and wanting to be on tour one day? I mean, you name it, all the guys like VJ, Tiger, Dustin Johnson, um, Phil, Ernie, that kind of generation. And then obviously more recently, um, I mean, all these guys, Xander, can't lay all the younger generation Rory um but yeah I've been I, I wouldn't say I watch a ton of golf but I, I really enjoy watching golf now and seeing what some of these top guys are doing you, you mentioned can't lay decent chance you're paired with him tomorrow last okay. group in a big tournament how excited yeah. are you to test your game at that level on the stage yeah it's cool I actually played with them two weeks ago on Sunday at the Amex and um that was a really cool experience and obviously him being a SoCal guy there's a little bit of connection there too, but yeah, I'm I'm ready to embrace whatever whatever is ahead of me this weekend. Did you write a letter requesting a sponsor invitation to this tournament? I did not. No. So totally, it just came out of left field to you. No, I mean we, me and my my agent Lynn Roach was working on it pretty pretty good, so it wasn't totally out of left field, but obviously really really gracious that I've got this opportunity. And what do you remember from getting to play at uh, Genesis, winning the College Showcase there? Oh, that was one of the best memories I've ever had. Um, it was it was incredible. I think I just turned 19, and 
I knew all my family and friends are going to be out there literally 20 minutes from campus. So I had a bunch of people from Pepperdine come out too. And I got off to such a hot start there. And I just remember on the weekend, I played 33 holes with Phil on Sunday. And obviously that's something I'm never going to forget as a just turned 19 year old in college and the stories he had and all that. And Riviera is one of my, if not my favorite golf course. So nothing but good memories there. What was the goofiest outfit you saw out there today on 16 or any other hole? Well, 16 specifically, I tried to not make eye contact with too many people. Maybe a couple by the green, but I, I honestly, I don't even remember. I was just kind of focused on what was ahead. You came in here last night and mentioned you were very glad for the play suspension coming when it did. Yeah. What did you do last night to regroup and get yourself in the right frame of mind for today? Uh, Caddy Carl ordered up some Thai food. We just sat in the house and watched some basketball. Yeah. Awesome. You're still, still living in, uh, with your parents, is that right? Correct. Yeah, still living with my parents in LA. I, I was thinking about moving out, but it was just I graduated during COVID and it just didn't really make sense for me. And I had all my team with me in California, so um, I'm definitely gonna stay at least. You know, I'm gonna have a place in California. No like a couple what, good more rounds, and you probably can afford a new place. Yeah, maybe we'll see. I don't know about in California. <laughs> you, you said you'd just be resting not doing anything this week what would yeah. your what would your parents and family that are here what, what would they have been doing working <laughs> what, what are they yeah doing? they're taking time off to come work which are come out here and i know like every minute they're not on the golf course they're working so um obviously thank you for that too but yeah they, they'd be working and i'd be doing nothing <laughs> on the off week thank you appreciate it